Can you believe Jeff Bezos, the richest person in the world, just spent $165 million on a single house in Beverly Hills? That's right, the Amazon founder and CEO broke the record for the most expensive home purchase ever in the area. Want to see inside this incredible mansion and some of Bezos' other mind-blowing properties? Get ready to have your mind blown by the sheer opulence and extravagance we're about to explore. Jeff Bezos is a fascinating guy with a pretty impressive background. He's super smart, having studied computer science and electrical engineering at Princeton. After a stint on Wall Street, he came up with the idea for Amazon back in 1994, starting it as an online bookstore. Now, Amazon is a huge online shopping giant, selling everything under the sun. But Bezos doesn't stop there. He's also into space travel with his company Blue Origin and invests in tons of other businesses through his firm Bezos Expeditions. It's no wonder he's the richest person in the world with a net worth $193.7 billion. Talk about successful! The Warner Estate in Beverly Hills. This place is so incredible, it's hard to even know where to start. But let's begin with the fact that Bezos dropped a mind-boggling $165 million on this property. That's right, $165 million. It's officially the most expensive home ever sold in the Los Angeles area, and it's all thanks to the Amazon founder's deep pockets. But what exactly does a $165 million mansion look like? Well, for starters, the Warner Estate is massive. It spans nine acres of prime Beverly Hills land, which is like having your own personal park in the middle of the city. And the main house? It's a whopping 13,600 square feet, which is bigger than most schools or office buildings. Inside the main house, there are eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms. That's enough space to host the entire cast of a Hollywood blockbuster. And if you thought that was impressive, wait until you hear about the guest houses. There are multiple guest houses on the property. It's like having a miniature village all to yourself. But the Warner Estate isn't just big, it's also steeped in Hollywood history. The mansion was originally built in the 1930s for Jack Warner, the legendary head of Warner Brothers Studios. This guy was responsible for some of the most iconic movies of all time, so you know his house had to be something special. And boy, is it ever. One of the coolest features of the Warner Estate is the fact that it supposedly has floors that Napoleon Bonaparte himself once walked on. That's right, the French emperor who conquered much of Europe allegedly stood on these very floors. How wild is that? It's like owning a piece of world history right in your own home. But the amazingness doesn't stop there. The Warner Estate also boasts expansive gardens that are so lush and beautiful, you could get lost in them for hours. We're talking pristine lawns, towering trees, and colorful flowers as far as the eye can see. It's like having your own personal botanical garden. And if you're a golf enthusiast, you're in luck, because the Warner Estate even has its own private golf course. Yep, you hear that correctly. Bezos can now work on his swing without ever leaving his own backyard. Talk about the ultimate luxury. Of course, a property this incredible doesn't come cheap. Before Bezos scooped it up, the Warner Estate was owned by David Geffen, the business magnate who co-founded DreamWorks Pictures. Geffen reportedly poured tens of millions of dollars into renovating and upgrading the estate, so you know it was already in tip-top shape when Bezos got his hands on it. But perhaps the best thing about the Warner Estate is the privacy and exclusivity it offers. Located in one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in Beverly Hills, this place is like a fortress. It's hidden away from prying eyes and surrounded by other uber-wealthy residents who value their privacy just as much as Bezos does. With all that land and the top-notch security, he can enjoy his new digs without worrying about any unwanted visitors. Bezos isn't just putting all his eggs in one basket with the Warner Estate. The guy has a real estate portfolio that would make anyone's jaw drop. Let's talk about his digs in the Big Apple. Bezos dropped a whopping $80 million on three apartments in New York City. These aren't your average studio apartments, folks. We're talking about a combined 17,000 square feet of pure luxury, with 12 bedrooms and extras like a golf simulator and private screening room. It's like having your own personal resort in the heart of the city. But that's not the only place Bezos calls home. He's got a sprawling estate in Medina, Washington, which he snagged for $10 million back in 1998. And apparently, one mansion wasn't enough, because he went ahead and bought the house next door for a cool $53 million. Talk about living large. Moving on to the nation's capital, Bezos made a power move by purchasing two buildings in Washington, D.C. for $23 million. These aren't your typical townhouses, though. Together, they boast 27,000 square feet, 25 bathrooms, and 11 bedrooms. Oh, and did we mention the whiskey cellar, ballroom, and dedicated staff quarters? It's like something straight out of a movie. 
But wait, there's more. Bezos also owns a huge ranch in West Texas, another impressive compound in Beverly Hills, and get this, hundreds of thousands of acres of land scattered across the country. It's hard to even fathom the scale of his real estate empire. Of course, when you're the richest person on the planet, you can afford to deck out your homes with the most lavish amenities imaginable. We're talking top-of-the-line everything, from gourmet kitchens to private fitness centers and spa retreats. It's a lifestyle that most of us can only dream of. Now, let's take a step back and look at how Bezos' recent $165 million splash fits into the bigger picture of the high-end real estate scene. It's a staggering amount of money, even for the ultra-wealthy. In fact, it shattered the previous record for the priciest pad ever sold in the LA area. But Bezos isn't the only one making waves in the luxury housing market. Plenty of other billionaires and A-list celebrities are scooping up mega mansions with price tags that would make the average person's head spin. It's a stark reminder of the growing wealth gap in our society. While many people struggle to make ends meet, a select few can drop millions on a single property without batting an eye. It begs the question, just how much is too much? As for Bezos, it's anyone's guess what he'll add to his real estate collection next. With a seemingly endless supply of cash, he could easily continue to snap up the most coveted properties around the world. One thing's for certain, when you're playing in the big leagues of luxury real estate, the sky's the limit. Well. That's a wrap on Jeff Bezos' mind-blowing $165 million Beverly Hills estate. What do you think? Ultimate dream home or just too much? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Elite Realm for more incredible celebrity cribs. See you next time.